Thanks, guys. Let's take a look at what went down so far in this one. The Raptors put together a nice half and were rewarded with the solid lead. They decided to make a statement in the opening half, and they did it by throwing down dunk after dunk after dunk. I think the rim is still shaking. Have a look at the leading scores for the Toronto Raptors. The Warriors are in need of some changes at the half. And someone needs to step up offensively if they plan to win this game. Not a single player has gotten in the double digits yet. Have a look at the leading scores for the Golden State Warriors. Game track. Bench points. The Golden State Warriors were not given a chance to relax in that opening half. Even when the starters were on the bench, the reserves were maintaining the lead and earning their playing time. Player of the half. Kawhi Leonard has been a defensive force in this matchup. If he's not stealing the ball, he's swatting it. And that combination has made for an incredible half. Who was cold? No one wants to be picked for this segment, but he couldn't avoid it. Maybe he'll turn things around in the second half. Here we go with the top plays from the first half. Number two. Number one. Back to Ed and Jay to bring you the second half action. Warriors have the basketball. Curry to Thompson. Nothing going here on that drive. Here comes the screen. Durant to Green. Finish that. Lowry to Leonard. Whoa, what a finish. An easy two, get back on defense. And they call the foul. Careful there, Jim. A simple touch foul. Curry to Thompson. Beyond the arc for three. Had made his first couple, but he misses there. Marcus Cousins, huge block. This will get out of bounds. Last touch by Cousins. Leonard. Now that's a contest. Shoot or shoot, period. I don't want to hear any excuses. That's why you're on the floor. You keep doing what you're doing with that superior confidence. Thompson to Curry. Yes, Clay Thompson. He's now four for six. Ed, I have so much admiration for guys that continue to hunt their shot. They're playing the second half like it was the first five minutes of the ball game. Those natural born leaders are guys that will consistently lead your team to the promised land. And he's fouled. Good play by the shooter. You know what? That's an even better play by the defender. I like the foul there. Send a message. Nothing easy. He's going to have to earn it now. Goes two for two at the line. Thompson to bring it into the front court. The margin standing now at seven. And finishes. Draymond takes it out on the rim. 
I see the easy dunk, but what I don't see is energy. Scream, do something, get yourself emotionally involved in the game. Not that time, he misses. DeMarcus Cousins, consistent effort. He's at 50%, 6'11", 270. That's a massive man. You can make a case there's nobody like him. There isn't anybody like him in the NBA. He is an absolute bully on the block, can burrow his way through traffic, make it easy, and also possesses that sweet shooting touch from the outside. Danny Green is going to get a chance at three here, a career 81% free throw shooter. And hits the first free throw. Hits the second. One more coming. Knocks down all three at the line. It's Golden State basketball. Uh, passed it off. Runner here. Won't go. Gasol to Leonard. Siakam matched up with the two-time MVP. And a nice finish at the rim. It can only be one of two things here. One, the defender ran out of gas. Or two, this dude is just unstoppable. Here's Curry with it up top. His club staring up at an eight. Stuffs it down with authority. Jay, let's see if that's a sign for him. Well, he's been pretty much non-existent the first three quarters, but when you have a play like that, that can get the juices going, and that can help you with your offensive rhythm. Lowry takes aim at Steph Curry. Danny Green. Nice pass to set things up. And when plays like that happen with multiple players touching the ball, the basketball gods will 100% reward you. Kawhi Leonard defended by Steph Curry. Shot from the lane, won't go. Thompson to bring it into the front court. His guys trail now by four. Durant can't get the bounce. It's rebounded by Gasol. Another chance. Swings it to Leonard. 4-3. No good. That's great defense. And that'll be out of bounds. Last touch by Durant. Time to adjust. Both coaches making changes on the floor. Yes. And the foul. And a chance at three coming up. So many times we get on the defender for quote-unquote letting the offensive player score on an and one. Sometimes there's a lucky bounce, but more often than not, it's the offensive player who makes the play happen despite the defender's best intentions. Kawhi Leonard at the line for a chance at a three-point play, a career 84% free throw shooter. Can convert the free throw. Livingston across the timeline. The deficit is six. It's good. Count the basket and the foul. That was such a great job by the offensive player. Knowing that you're probably going to take some lumps here and there, but still remaining aggressive throughout the shot and getting a crack at the extra point. Sean Livingston trying to cash in on a three-point play for his career 79% at the line. To Leonard. foul. He'll have a chance at a three-point play. People become so fixated on the hands or the arms or the strengths of the arms. I look at the legs. The strength of his legs help him power through that play. That's how you get and ones. Free throw good as he completes the three-point play. The lead is up to six. Warriors basketball, Livingston, they'll get it to Durant. Tough looking shot there, still gets it to go down. And ISO basketball is becoming a thing of the past. Team basketball is back, 
And if you have that personnel with the versatility plus the mindset, game over. To Ibaka. Strong finish at the rim for Marcus All. If you didn't dunk that, then we would have to talk about it. Livingston to bring it up. Now down six. To Cousins. And finishes strong. Neither side is giving up an inch. I guarantee you tomorrow on Complex's social feed, that play will have millions of views. And I'm really looking forward to this fourth quarter because the first three have lived up to the bill. Durant. Has a look. Ah, Kevin Durant looking good. Four for five. When I played and I see guys do this all the time, when you shoot, the target isn't the basket. The target is actually before you even go into the shot. The target are your hands defensively. If your hands are down and you give me clear vision towards the bucket, that shot's definitely going up. Oh, with the foul and a chance coming up at the line. I'm watching the coach's reaction right now, and I'll tell you, he's not going to be happy about that. The game comes down to the micro details. That wasn't a part of the plan right there. Knocks down the first. Two for two on that trip. He'll put it up at the buzzer. Three quarters down. The Raptors in front. Raptors ball as we get going here in the fourth, and they'll be looking to finish strong. And when you play stingy defense on one end, the other end takes care of itself. Nothing going here on that drive. For three, buries it on the catch and shoot. It's easy to get lost in the chaos of the game down the stretch, but great awareness by the shooter to get those toes right behind the three-point line. Curry has it. With a piece. This game is all about playing mind tricks on people. The offense is more worried about getting their shot blocked than they are about actually making the shot. Durant across the timeline. Right now, down seven. Raptors come away with it. You got to go for the score here right now in this possession. And scores. When the ball is in his hands, we all knew what was going to happen. Durant with the basketball up top. He'll run the offense. To Curry. Warriors with four to shoot. Down for Iguodala. Tough make through traffic. I was expecting the dish there, but way to fake that one and lay that one in. Leonard. To Ibaka. To Marcus Cousins. Able to recover with the block. Blocking so many shots only gives your perimeter that much more confidence to really apply more pressure. Balls controlled by the Raptors. Kawhi Leonard against the KG veteran Iguodala. Haskell Siakam. Livingston across the timeline. The deficit now up to five. To Durant. Pass to Cousins down low. Oh, nice find for the basket. This may sound cheesy, but sometimes you just need to sit back, get a tub of popcorn, and just enjoy the show because that's what you're watching right now. Now a whistle, and Toronto's going to use a timeout. That's their first of the final three minutes. That leaves them with one remaining. 
I know the fans didn't get a chance to hear this during the break, but the coaches are wearing a mic for the broadcast. I heard a lot of arguing inside the huddle. It lets you know that the intensity level is pretty high going into the fourth. Curry with the ball. Fires the three, and Stephen Curry's. We say it time and time again. Not much the defense could have done there. His instincts are unnatural, but what makes him so good given the work he's put in? The special thing about Stephen Curry is that his entire life he has practiced great habits. A lot of players practice and get up shots, but they don't practice the right habits, and that comes with the lineage. His father, Dell Curry, making sure that he puts in the time and effort, but the proper skill with the time and the effort. Ibaka matched up with Durant. Ah, Kevin Durant. He's now five for six. And there's nothing more mentally intimidating for your opponent than when your own teammates are unselfish and make sure that you get the ball because they want you to drop 70 on them, maybe like Devin Booker did last year. Fred Van Vliet to Leonard. Here comes the screen. Stops it down with authority. Well, we got a chance to firsthand watch something be created. I think we just watched an epidemic of passing. I've never seen something like this before. It was so contagious, everybody started to do it, and it ultimately led to the other team's demise. If that's an epidemic, sign me up. Leonard to Van Vliet. Fires the three. Van Vliet denied. Have to like the defense. Thompson to bring it into the front court. Our score all even here in the fourth quarter. Now the Raptors going to use a timeout, and that'll be their second and final one. New blood coming in for both sides. Lowry. That reach was just about a second off. He got his hand in there a little bit quicker. That would have been a steal. Just enough imbalance. First one, count it. And he hits the second. He missed it. Two for three on this trip. Curry into the front court. All tied up. Just underway in this fourth quarter. Durant. Green to Durant. to shoot for Golden State. Durant lets it fly. Rebounds taken down by the Raptors. Sacrificing everything for the loose ball. Golden State at the controls. Boogie abusing the rim. Big finish. That's what I'm talking about. Nice finish. It's all business. Lowry with it. His guys find themselves trailing by a bucket. Cousins to Thompson. Yes, Clay Thompson. He's now shooting five for seven. Clay isn't usually a guy that goes to the bucket. He usually pulls up for threes, but that was a nice, easy lay in right there. Lowry here against Steph. Leonard to Gasol. And look out. Big finish at the rim. An easy two. Get back on defense. loose. Taken by the Raptors. Kevin Durant rejects it. It's the Warriors who get the victory. They've won their 17th NBA title. Tying them with the Celtics for the most by one franchise in NBA history.
For my partner, Jay Williams, and our entire crew, I'm Ed Cohen. This has been the NBA Playoffs on EA Sports. Find out more at easports.com. Until next time, good night. here and I've got your EA Sports post game wrap up. The Warriors have earned the ultimate prize, an NBA championship. They faced adversity this season, but they didn't let them prevent them from achieving their dream. This was a series that will be hard to forget. What you see here is how the majority of the points were scored for the Golden State Warriors. The Raptors couldn't fight off elimination. It was a valiant effort, but they just couldn't get it done. I can already hear their fans saying it now, maybe next year. Check out the leading scores for the Toronto Raptors. Game track. Three-point shooting. Each of these teams were solid with their long-range shooting. So by extension, they were pretty poor with their perimeter defense. Closing out on shooters must always happen, whether you're tired or not. Player of the game. Boogie Cousins was happy to throw down plenty of dunks. And if the defense happened to be there, he brought them along for the ride. Here we go with the top plays. Number two. Number one. That's another postseason in the books, and I'm already dreading the wait for more hoops. See you next season.